In this video, I will show you how to create a masking transition like this using Filmora. To create the masking transition, I have imported two video clips. I will drag this one on the timeline first. I will place it on track number two. Let me give you a preview of this video first. The reason for which I chose this video is because tree in this video is acting as a mask element. What I mean is this tree is completely blocking the view on the left hand side of the video for a few seconds. Videos with elements like this are pretty good for creating the masking transitions. Now the process of creating this transition is very simple. We have to mask this view on the left hand side of the tree and we have to replace it with any other clip to create our masking transition. So now I will move the playhead back a couple of frames. I will bring it to a point where I am no longer able to see the video on the left hand side of the tree. At that point I will bring down the second video on the timeline. I will place it below my main video. Now I will select the main video clip and then I will go to the tools menu. Here I will go to the mask tool. I will apply the linear mask. Then I will add a blur strength of around 3 to 4 to this mask. Then I will move this mask towards the left hand side of the preview window like this. And then I will add a keyframe for this mask by clicking here on the keyframe button. Now I will zoom in on the timeline completely because we will be working frame by frame on our video. So now what we are supposed to do is we have to move one frame ahead on our video and every time the video on the left hand side of the tree is revealed we have to mask it. We will mask it by moving our mask towards the right hand side. You can either move one frame ahead by using this button here or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move ahead. I will be moving ahead with this button. As you can see when I moved one frame ahead the video on the left hand side of the tree became visible to some extent. Now firstly let me hide the view of this video on the lower track. This will make this process a bit easier. So now I will be hiding this video on the left hand side of the tree by moving my mask above it. I can do that by increasing the x value for the mask's position and this will move my mask towards the right hand side. You will see a black area coming on the left hand side of the preview window which is basically our mask covering this video on the left hand side of the tree. You can see this mask here. You can move one frame ahead then one frame ahead again and as the video on the left hand side of the tree gets revealed I will again reposition my mask to cover that video on the left hand side like this. We have to follow this process till we have completely moved the mask from the left side of the preview window to the right side of the preview window. So let me speed up this process to save your time. So now as you can see I have completely moved my mask towards the right hand side. So now I will enable the view of this video on the lower track and then I will zoom out on the timeline to have a better view. So our final video is ready. Let's render it before the final playback. This will ensure a smooth playback. So let's see how our final video looks like. So that's it for this video. If you find this video useful, do hit the like and subscribe button for more such videos. Thank you.